So just remember that plots tell a story and your job is to always ask, what is the question you want to answer and what is the story you want to tell? And to use your knowledge of the differences that are easiest for people to perceive in order to tell that right story. And whatever is the most important aspect, try to separate it in space. And whatever the second important aspect is, distinguish it by separating it using length or color. So let's look at this particular plot and try to figure out what's the story that we're trying to tell here. And if you stare at this for a couple of seconds, you're going to come at come up with a couple of different stories. I would argue that the main story being told in this plot, unfortunately, is just that, you know, there are a lot of people who have a very low age because that's where there's a big spike and the length is really long um, in terms of the bar. And then it looks like there is a peak in the number of people who are kind of in their 50s and 60s because that's where I see, you know, that curve having a, a, an approximate peak. There's a bunch of color on this plot, which almost is distracting. Um, if you look at the color closely, you can get kind of a sense for what the secondary story might be. But it's not really obvious because each of the bars is a different length here. And so you've got a muddled message and not a clear story to tell. In this other plot, though, the story becomes a lot more clear. The story that this plot is telling is that when people are early in life, they're fairly likely to have Medicaid uh, and or private insurance. And as people get older, their chances of having Medicaid goes way down to the point where older in life, it looks like almost no one has Medicaid or very few people do. On the flip side, Medicare is something that looks like people start getting somewhere in their kind of 20s or 30s, very small percentage of people. But then around age 65, you know, the proportion of Medicaid, Medicare goes way up, such that it even overtakes private insurance um, once you're at you know, age 75 and above. So not knowing anything about what Medicare is or what Medicaid is or what private insurance is, you could look at this plot and work out for yourself who you think is a candidate for Medicare versus Medicaid. Now, the reason this plot is easier to read is that the height of the bar is not a distracting factor. And the length is actually being used to communicate percentage. Because in effect, this you know, uh, stacked bar chart with a, height of one, a fixed height is the equivalent of several pie charts put together side by side. But because it's you know, a single stacked bar chart, we're able to tell a clear story not just individually for each of the bars, but also over time as people get older. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have seen this plot before. This is a plot that helps people figure out or communicate that if an energy is coming into a system and some of it's leaving because of friction or smoke, the energy that you know, comes out of the system will be less than what came in because of inefficiencies in the system. Um, this is known as a Sankey diagram. And because I'm guessing most of you have not seen this before, chances are if you're using this diagram to communicate your message to a lay audience, they won't have seen it either. And it will take them a little bit of time to get accustomed to what exactly is going on in this diagram. And even though I was able to verbally explain this to you, when you show this diagram to someone who's never seen this before, you're not going to have the luxury of giving them an audio recording to say, before you look at this diagram, listen to this. So you've always got to think about what are what background is your audience coming from such that you can convey the message to them in the simplest way. Here's another Sankey diagram showing the invasion of Russia by Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, and you can see that the width of the bar here is actually the size of the army. And so the army shrinks over time and the uh, you know, brownish, grayish bar is the one where uh, he's entering Russia and invading Russia uh, until he reaches Moscow. And then the black bar is basically Napoleon Bonaparte's retreat. And you can see that the army shrinks uh, you know, dramatically in size. And if you look at the very bottom of that plot, you'll see that the shrink 
the shrinkage happens to you know even correlate with the uh, cooling of the temperature, such that as the temperature gets cooler and cooler, uh, you know the uh, people tend to get sicker and die off or you know escape this army. Whether this is a brilliant plot or a confusing plot really depends on your audience. But to most of the audience, if you want to get them a very quick message right away, this plot may not be the way to do it because they'll have to first understand what exactly is going on because so much of what's shown here is something that they're not necessarily going to be familiar with when they first see it. So the final principle of visualization is to use a high data to ink ratio. And so if you think about what is the total amount of ink used to print the graphic, make sure that as much of that ink as possible is what's called data ink, uh, which is the ink being used to communicate the data.